My name is Khalid Al Nur Ali Hasaballah. Uh, I am from Sudan. Uh, I did my master program in hydroinformatics uh, at Johannes Koch Institute for Water Education, Delft, the Netherlands. Uh, and after I complete my master program in uh, 2010, I went back uh, my country. Uh, I spent two years and then I got the opportunity to come again to Delft and to conduct my PhD. Perfect. And uh, just please tell us in which city do you live and in which uh, place you were working and which, which tasks? Yeah, well, I'm living in a very nice uh, small city. It's not very small, but it's the second capital in, uh, in Sudan. It's called Wad Madani. Uh, it's in the center of, uh, of Sudan. And uh, right now I'm working for the Ministry of Water Resources and Electricity, the Hydraulic Research Center, which is the research arm of the Ministry of uh, Water Resources and Electricity since uh, 2003 and up to now. And you have just started your PhD, but will be your PhD full-time at IHG or you, are, you will be part in Delft and part in your country? Yeah, I'm doing it in sandwich program instruction. So that means I have to uh, uh, conduct uh, my PhD uh, in post country in the Netherlands and in Sudan. So uh, each year I will be in the Netherlands for at least three months and the rest of the year will be in my country in Sudan. Thank you. Well, now let us talk about the future alumni association that you would like to settle and what was the, how did you start and because we have had several meetings with participants of Sudan with alumni that are around with you and you all the group has done a lot of things these two months please can you tell us about that how do we start well why the alumni association let us start from the beginning yeah, well, um, this idea uh, actually started a couple of time ago, and the idea behind that is to 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 bring all the UNESCO IC alumni Sudan on board, uh, and to start a very uh, strong um, uh, networking uh, among the alumni themselves and, and 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 among the institute in the in the Netherlands. Yeah, and of course for UNESCO IHG is always, this initiative has a very great value, so uh, you count with our support. And which are the benefits for alumni? Yeah, well... Um, At least what we dream at this moment. <laughs> no, I not dream, but uh, uh, I think we can get a lot of benefit from building up this uh, relation and networking. Because uh, you never know what, 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 what will come from this kind of networking, but uh, um, uh, I'm sure that at least you can, the alumni can get like a short course or he can get a, um, a training or he can also, he can get a, a job. Uh, so that's why we, we, we thought that we have to keep this uh, kind of relation and this kind of uh, networking. I think it's very positive for all uh, involved alumni for the country and also for UNESCO IHE or what this type of uh, associations can, uh, can give. But how do we start? What, are you, what have you done? What is necessary to be done? Yeah, actually, we started with the support, with the appreciated support from uh, uh, Miss Maria uh, Sorrentino, the, <laughs> the 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 uh, the UNESCO IHC alumni officer, and also the support from Professor Yasir Mohammed from uh, uh, HRC Sudan, and we really appreciate their efforts, and we had a very uh, a long discussion uh, about how to. Uh, establish the UNESCO IHG Sudan alumni and how to activate uh, them and how to bring all of them on, on, on board. So 
uh, we came up with some sort of ideas of uh, uh, how to bring all of them on board. And first, we 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 will really start by creating a, a, a web page on the social media, and also we can use the the contacts email. But the problem is that. Uh, uh, most of the alumni we don't have their their contacts address so first we begin with creating a, a web page on LinkedIn uh, professional social media and then we aim uh, to have uh, the address of all uh, people through this uh, networking that is perfect as a kick out and uh... I would like to say to all alumni that, well, this initiative has not started two months ago. There were several times that I have uh, received emails of other people, even though a PhD, now I don't remember his name, that he is in Italy, he was yeah, studying. Yeah, my colleague, Ugel. Uh, your colleague. So this is the, sometimes since take time, and now we are getting to those. So first of all, to thanks all the initiatives, all the thoughts, and now to put all the strengths together so that to create this place. Little by little we are going to update all the contact details. And I want to announce that this year, well, there is there will be a refresher seminar in Sudan, in your city, and that it will be also a great opportunity to organize an alumni gathering there and maybe to get together all the ones that uh, as much as Luni as we can have. Many will live far away from that place, but at least to the ones that live in that place or nearby, to have it together and maybe it could be the launch of the, the physical launch of the Alumni Association. Your last words, what else would you like to add? Of course, to invite everybody to spread this information to other colleagues that can be not updated, to share ideas, to get in touch with you, with me, to be part of the group of uh, LinkedIn. And I leave your the last word to close this interview to you. Yeah, uh, this is the first step. And the second step then, uh, we, we, we aim to upgrade this uh, UNESCO IHG Alumni Association to be part of the Holland uh, Alumni Association which is very much supported by the NAVIC and by the Dutch government itself. Um, so uh, my last message to all of uh, the Sudan alumni that please keep in touch, make sure that you have an active contact because uh, this is an important uh, uh, networking so that people can benefit a lot from this one because uh, with this social uh, media we can share ideas, we can solve problems, we can help each other and I'm sure that this uh, uh, kind of networking it, it, it might be seems like a very small window for for most of the people, but I'm sure that whenever there is a window, there is also a door. And this door can open for you a very, a very, a very uh, important uh, opportunity. Well, thank you very much, and I wish you the best for this new initiative. Thank you so much. <laughs>